Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video here, um, show you our evacuation procedure and what we do. Um, we've got a four ton unit here, it's a heat pump and we're changing out the air handler. The coil had a leak in it, so uh, we pumped down and captured the refrigerant and the coil here, uh, condenser coil outside. So. Uh, we just finished pressure testing the system. Um, one thing I did want to point out to you guys was the uh, um, the nitrogen regulator that we use, which is the VN500, and that's made by uh, Western. Um, this model um, is great. It's got um, a quick release, basically. Um, it's got a gauge on the side here. It tells you what um, exactly your bottle pressure is. And then it's also got um, three uh, different presets. So there's off. There's Braze, and then there's Purge and Test. Um, and uh, we love this regulator. It's, um, it's heavy duty, it holds up well, um, and uh, it's just nice to have those preset functions. Um, it's made, uh, you know, using brazing with nitrogen and purging testing, everything really easy. Um, I did want to point out, this is our vacuum pump. This is the Field Piece um, VP85 vacuum pump and uh, I'm actually just about to change the oil and I'm going to show you guys how easy that is to do on this thing. Um, so basically we've got this valve here. Um, all I have to do is turn it and uh, it drains right in there and uh, all you gotta do is get my replacement right here. This is 8 ounces vacuum pump oil. Um, you can buy these off the shelf. They're in a pack of three and uh, I go to my, my fill spout, uh, rinse a little through there, close that valve off, uh, get any contaminants out of the tank if there are, if there is any, and this will bring you um, up to the fill zone perfectly. And uh, you can actually see there's uh, blue LED lights behind this, so even at night um, you can see exactly um, what your uh, vacuum pump oil looks like. Um, now all I gotta do is pull this out. And then I just take my cap, put that back on, take the empty bottle, just pops in under this tray, and there's a washer there, um, a gasket that holds it in place. Close the door, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So, I'll put the fill spout back on. Um, so I've got, a quarter inch, half, and two three eight uh, connection ports. Um, I've got my gas ballast here, um, so I'm going to open that actually when I first start evacuation. Um, down here, I've got my Appion um, core remover tools, and those are vacuum rated. Um, they have a quarter turn knob there on the side. I've actually created a T with a third. Um, uh, valve core remover tool, and uh, that's connected to the um, blue vac micron gauge. Um, and the reason I did that is so that when we release the refrigerant, I can isolate that micron gauge so that I don't get any oil in it and I can go uh, longer in between cleanings. Um, they're really easy to clean though. Um, you just need a little bit of alcohol. Um, you get a dropper and just drop a few drops in there, swish it around, and then um, pull a vacuum on it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up and I'll show you guys how quickly this pulls down in the vacuum. Also, these are um, half inch hoses. These are made by Appion. You can actually get the kit, um, which comes with one valve core remover and, uh, and also, um, and also uh, the hose itself. So um, if you wanna just use one and, uh, and put the micron gauge on the other, it's fine. Um, you're probably just gonna have to clean that micron gauge more often, more frequently, but um, we've already purged with nitro. We've pressure tested um, and released. Um, the valve cores are out. That's the first thing you do is take your valve cores out and then um, connect everything like so. And uh, we're gonna turn this thing on, fire it up. <laughs>
actually how fast it's pulling down. It's pulling down pretty quick. And I'm gonna leave my bypass open until I reach about 1500 microns so I can save my oil. And we're just about there. Um, so once I hit 1500, I'm gonna go ahead and close this off. It's as simple as a switch on the back there. Just put that closed and then uh, just watch it go down the rest of the way. Already below a thousand, so that's good. The system's got a lot of oil in it, or refrigerant that's, that's trapped in the oil, it may take a little bit longer. Um, usually we get down to about 500 microns, pretty much in less than five minutes for the most part. Um, and you can see we're, we're approaching that. And this will actually pull down. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see if the system didn't pull down um, well below 200. Um, it'll pull down below 200, and then what we'll do is we'll close off these valves here. We'll close those off. These quarter inch valves are the quarter turn valves, and uh, we'll go ahead and close those off and watch our decay test. And it usually rises to about, um, I don't know, I mean, usually it doesn't get above 300 microns, but um, it'll usually rise to about 200, 250, um, but uh, that's pretty good by anyone's standards.